Maybe you've been wondering recently, what is going on with Into the Radius 2? And let me just start out by saying that the original Into the Radius, even though it turned out to be an extremely complete, well thought out and detailed VR game, it actually still strayed from the original path that the developers had when they first came up with Into the Radius. There was a lot left unrealized and the developers aren't completely specific about what exactly was overly ambitious that they didn't achieve in the original into the radius but i'm assuming since i did play into the radius 1.0 it just me is this possibly the most fantastic part of into the radius 1.0 <laughs> that at least one of those overly ambitious ideas was to have the map be one gigantic map that doesn't have any loading times for different areas it's just all clumped into one massive map not gonna lie that was one of my favorite things about into the radius 1.0 but for very obvious reasons that wasn't really gonna work because that is a lot of shit to render on one map dude so in into the radius 2 i think the developers are going to be spending a lot more time and energy trying to realize that original vision that they had for into the radius 1 but just couldn't quite achieve but it seems like the overall goal for Into the Radius 2 is to preserve a lot of what made Into the Radius 1 so special and then just upgrade it. So that means all of those same gameplay mechanics that we love like weapon cleaning, eating food, customizing our bases, and even customizing weapons are going to be getting upgraded for Into the Radius 2. And better yet, we are also going to be getting multiplayer for this game. Into the Radius is no longer an isolated lonely experience. You can experience it with your friends if you want to. I'm just gonna come over here and chill on this rock, dude. I'm sitting on a ledge right now, brother. Smoked a couple fat ones. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, okay. Let me get back to talking about Into the Radius 2. As for the bigger changes that are coming in Into the Radius 2, one of them is that Into the Radius 2 story is completely different from the original Into the Radius. Happening sometime after the Pachorsky event, aka the Radius. And unfortunately, the man that we all know and love, all right, Explorer 61, isn't going to be returning in Into the Radius 2, to my knowledge. But we are going to be getting a brand new explore someone who travels a very similar path to explore 61 but in this new area we're going to be able to travel to different locations that we've never seen before encounter dangerous situations and entities that we've never even thought of and apparently our adventure has much more dire consequences than before i don't know what the hell that means but for the most part, I feel like in Into the Radius 1, Explorer 61 pretty much just, it's our job to research stuff, man. We basically go out, we're guinea pigs, we get killed, we come back, all right, and talk about what we saw. Now, from a surface level, that is exactly what this game is. But if you haven't seen the ending, I really don't want to spoil that for you. You may have noticed that nothing we really do in this game has any severe consequence to the UNPSC or the world for that matter. This is pretty much, we're in the thick of it out here. Here. this is <laughs> we're fucked out here boys all right the most exciting thing to do in the radius is get killed in an absolutely insane number of ways but it sounds like in into the radius 2 we might have a little bit more weight to carry there are going to be some consequences maybe you don't finish a mission in into the radius 2 the world explodes i'm freaking excited to see what they mean dude oh my gosh one thing for sure i really hope that they don't take cigarettes out of the game maybe even throw in some blunts dude there are guys that tried to mod blunts into this game and i'm not gonna say that they did a bad job but looking at this into the radius developer made cigarette it's like come on we could get a bong in this game i'm not saying do any of that stuff but i think it'd be hilarious to have in a vr game <laughs> the developers really made it clear that these new locations and the overall look of Into the Radius 2 is going to be a level up from Into the Radius 1. The overall visual style is going to be basically a Baltic city, but, and this is where it gets pretty damn exciting, this new location is basically taking place prior to the events of the Pachorsk Anomaly, aka the Radius. It's that big beautiful thing in the sky. So we're gonna be able to see how things were prior to the Pachorsk Anomaly? Ooh. Okay, and I'd be completely lying to you guys if I said that doesn't excite the hell out of me, dude. Now, in general, uh, the developers said that the gameplay is going to essentially be the same and feel the same in these new locations, but gameplay is apparently going to be affected by these so-called new factors. <laughs> 
I was doing air quotes, that's why the lighter went off. New factors. And I mean, honestly, that's kind of cryptic. New factors doesn't give us very much information, but they said that they're going to release what those new factors are just later on down the line in development. So I'm pretty damn excited to see what these new factors are going to be and how drastically they're going to impact gameplay. Into the Radius is awesome. I love this game so much, you guys don't even know. This game helped me get my mind out of a really dark place during COVID. It distracted me from shit that I shouldn't have been thinking about, and honestly is a little bit of a savior, in my opinion. But, one thing that I am actually really worried about is I, I want Into the Radius 2 to have these next level graphics and next level locations. I also really, really want this game to run like smoothly. Into the Radius, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit of a labor of love when it comes to graphics and getting this baby to perform well. You really gotta mess around with the graphic settings to get this just perfect. But when you really dial in those settings, it does play almost perfectly, dude. And I guess that's one of my big worries, all right? I don't want the devs to be overly ambitious when it comes to making the graphics this so-called next level up from Into the Radius, because I mean, dude, this game as is looks insane, especially on PC VR. So it's like, what is this next level that we're going to, huh? And how exactly are you gonna get there while still maintaining a game that performs well? Because dude, as good as the graphics are, if I have to be changing my graphics settings every five to ten minutes because I play the game for a few minutes and it just looks beautiful. It just looks effortless and smooth. And then something happens and now the game's stuttering and I feel like fucking throwing up. I just want a game that looks good and performs really good and preferably doesn't have a BTR. I absolutely hate this thing. Fun fact, a tank can't shoot through hay. I'm assuming that's hay. I think these are giant stacks of hay. Believe it or not, equipment is getting an upgrade too. We're getting new tactical vests and backpacks, so you have a little bit more customization when it comes to your playstyle. And we're getting new options for upgrading your equipment, storing your equipment, and we're also going to be getting upgrades to one of the most satisfying things you can do in this game, cleaning your weapons. <laughs> And if you're wondering where I got this absolutely menacing looking gun, you're probably going to want to go watch this video. Um, this is actually a gun that was included in a giant weapon mod that was created and posted on Nexus Mods by Chuck. Anyways, if you like this gun, there's a ton more that came in the mod, a bunch of reskins, like this Mosin, and I highly recommend you go download it. This changes the way the game feels so much. Is there any rule against smoking in the shooting range? <laughs> I think in real life, yes, there definitely is. Oh my god, we can smoke in here. All right, dope. Apologies if my voice is sounding a little raspy, kind of stuffed up. I currently have a cold. Into the Radius 2 is going to be a full-fledged single-player game, but you are going to be able to play co-op too with up to four different players. So if you wanna play with your friends, Into the Radius 2 is going to let you do that. The only thing though is the, the co-op save file is going to be different from the single player save file and there's no cross progression. So that kind of sucks, but then again, I'm just happy that we're gonna be able to play this game in co-op mode, period. Cause if you're new here, you might not know, but this has been quite the long ride for multiplayer. We've been asking the devs for multiplayer as long as we've been asking them to provide mod support, dude. <laughs> I bet they're so tired of hearing this shit, but we need it. There also isn't gonna be really any unique content that is exclusive to the single player game mode. The developers even supposedly have already had like a little play test where they tried out multiplayer and in into the radius 2. I'm assuming the like an early alpha version, but they said that into the radius, the entire gameplay loop and everything that you usually do in into the radius actually feels super different when you introduce other players into the mix. And I don't even know if they mean it in a good way, but I don't doubt that it's going to be good and I'm super excited to see how Into the Radius 2 plays differently with the introduction of multiplayer. Time to end this video off, boys. Anyways, guys, that is the end of this little Into the Radius 2 update. I am absolutely pumped to play this game when it releases. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if there's any Into the Radius related content you want to see in the future. Have an awesome rest of your weekend, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!